Um, but anyway, that was the end of my um, my low profile. And the other side of it was I'd avoided um, fortuitously our military service because when I was at Gray and we had to fill in the forms, um, I happened to have been sick that day. Um, and I never filled in the forms and somehow through an administrative fuck up, they never got me to fill in the army forms. And then I went to on Rotary for a year and they'd forgotten about me. And I'd kept out of, as a result of that, I'd kept out of the military just by, by good luck. But anyway, they looked at my, you know, they took my passport, they looked at the guy, looked at him and said, you know, how come you're not, you, you aren't in the army, you're not studying at the moment. Um, uh, and uh, so I then started getting call ups. I registered then for the LB um, and, uh, and then I went on a journalist course in, in, in PE the next year. Anyway, so that was the end of my low profile um, and uh, I was then still communicating individually now with the NC. I was no longer part of that old unit that I'd been in and um, uh, that unit had been broken up. Each of the individuals were in different structures now and uh, I worked for a few years individually and, and would go in and out of, um, of, of Harare. Uh, and, and the guys, I would, I'd have various excuses why I was going. But it was like, you know, I, I had a girlfriend there, and um, my mate Brett was there, and Brett had this kind of thing where he portrayed himself as this big dacharoka, and, um, you know, uh, which was quite convenient for him because that was his inclination anyway. Um, so, and, and if they asked, if I was interrogated, I would just say, I had no idea Brett was in the NC, it didn't seem like that to me. So we had, all, we, had all, we had our stories worked out as to why I was there. Every particular time I'd have a good story in case I was interrogated by. So, and I would just go in and out on the, mo on the motorbike and, and then sometimes what the NC would do, which wasn't very clever of them, um, was they'd get me to take stuff back. Um, you know, stuff I had to deliver to people because a motorbike was a good way of doing it. You could stick things under the seat and this kind of thing. And I would shit myself when I'd go through the border posts in case they tore the seat to pieces, you know? But never, that never happened. Um, so, I mean, to, to what extent, I mean, this is the big thing that we saw that was hung over the, the ECC's head that on that it was an ANC organization or, in, you know. It wasn't an ANC organization because what happened with, the e, with ECC um, was once it was launched, um, I, the ANC had prompted the idea, it prompted a few of us, but once it got m momentum, um, it became its own thing. And, and ECC actually had, the dynamic was very interesting because what happened with ECC was that because of our experience in NUSAS with all this factional fighting and that kind of thing, um, we were very determined in ECC that there would be none of that. And the only way to ensure that there was none of that was to ensure that there were no caucuses. Because as soon as you get caucuses, you get rival caucuses and, 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 and you have a problem. So. Various people at various stages wanted to set up a UDF caucus in ECC. We w would not allow that. Um, the decisions had to be taken within ECC, and if the wrong decision was taken and it was against UDF policy or ANC policy, we'd accept that decision and we would go along with that decision. And we were, we were like very firm on that. that, that, that and also that our, the aim of ECC was to end conscription. Didn't matter where you came from and you wanted to end conscription. If you were in the army and you wanted to end conscription, that was fine. If you were in the Young Progressive Party, they were, they were an affiliate of the ECC. If you were in the UDF, um, you know, whatever. If you were ultra-left, whatever. You could, you, if you were Christian, if you were atheist, it didn't matter. As long as you supported that goal, you were, you were in. And even, I mean, we had lots of spies, the, the government, fuck, they flooded spies in and, and, and there were, in other organizations, there was a paranoid attitude to them. We kind of gave people the benefit of the doubt, you know? Um, there were people we knew who were strongly suspected who were spies. I mean, one of them, I'll, I'll give one example which came out, was the Stellenbosch people strongly suspected Mark Baer of being a spy. But fuck, they left him alone, and then eventually he, he you know, he emerged that he was. You know, Mark Baird, yeah. Um, there were others like uh, there was one person we had in Johannesburg called Joy Harden, and um, we knew she was a spy. Her case was quite complicated because 
the end, we had, in my NC capacity, I'd actually informed the, the NC that she was a spy and that they, she was going out of the country with somebody and they should detain her. Um, and uh, they, one hand didn't know what the other hand was doing. And the result was, instead of being detained, she was recruited to the ANC and she was recruited with, she was put in a unit with an African activist who then disappeared. And so it was a real problem for the ANC because they didn't know, they wanted to protect her. They pulled her out and detained her, the African activist would be dead. Um, in fact, it turned out he had been killed. Um, and uh, so they didn't want, they wanted us to leave, uh, leave her alone. And eventually the UDF people, just said enough, and they exposed her. And, uh, and then ECC had to follow suit and kick her out, obviously, by that point. And, and then she, she emerged as a security police lieutenant. Um, but I mean, there were lots of, there were lots of people they, they put in. And, and even those people, we tended to be, it was like we were an open organization. So if there were spies, of course there were gonna be spies and informers, so we kick out one, they'll put in another one. So what's the problem? Um, so even at that level, we, were, we had a different response. It was very, things were very open. 